Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study or review the standard multiplication algorithm. And 412 times 7, and this is how the algorithm went. We go 7 times 2, which is 14. I write 4 here in the 1's place, but the 10 I need to regroup over there. And then I multiply in the 10's, 7 times 1, which actually is 7 times 1, 10. But in my mind, I just go 7 times 1, 7. And I add this regrouped 10, so I get 7 times 1 plus 1, which is 8. And lastly, 7 times 4, which is 28. And those are the hundreds. And that's all done. Let's try a little bit longer number. And maybe you can do it before I do, right? 9 times 7, 63. 3 goes here, 6 is regrouped, 6 tenths. And then 9 times 5, 45, I have to add this. 45 plus 6 is 51. So I get 51 tenths. 1 goes here, the 5 is regrouped into the hundreds. Then 9 times 2, which is 9 times 200, but in my mind I just go 9 times 2, 18 plus 5, 23. 3 here, 2 regrouped. And then 9 times 6, 54 plus 2, 56. So the answer is 56,330. Now let's try even a longer number. But before we do, let's estimate. If I want to estimate the answer to this multiplication, I would round this number. I would round it in such a way that I can still multiply mentally. And of course, that can be done in various ways depending on your mental multiplication skills, right? Maybe I will just round it to 150,000 or 151,000 because that really isn't that much more difficult. And so I get 453,000. That is my estimate for this multiplication problem. And now the multiplication. There's 151,207 times 3. Okay, 3 times 7, 21. 3 times 0, plus 2. That will be 2. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 1, 3. That is really easy. 3 times 5, 15. Now I need to regroup. And 3 times 1, plus 1, 4. Okay, 453,621. I hope I got it right. It is close to the estimate. But this one was a really easy multiplication because I did not constantly have to regroup. 